Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode with me, Banto in Stoneheart. Today we're gonna continue with uh, episode 2 of our farmhouse that we're doing in the previous one. So today we're gonna continue it and we're gonna finish this house. Maybe it should be pretty open downstairs and we can have like the rooms more like upstairs. We could have like a long room here though if you want to. I can make a long one like that. And maybe in there they have a little bit like they store some food and stuff in there. I think that would make sense. Like they're bringing in the like the crops in here. Oh, they have donation. Sure, sure, plenty. You can put it out. How did that one look? Oh, pretty much the same as the uh, the crate. Almost a little bit like different textures to it. So they would have a little bit of storage in here. Maybe a table for whatever reason that they're like sitting in here and they're like calculating how much food they got, something. Maybe we put it here. Like going through the harvest, like how much they got in and stuff like that. And this will be an open space. Okay, so let's go for the second floor. I think we're gonna go for this. That's nice. And it's gonna be sticking out over here. So something like out going out here. I'm not sure what's the best like if it's best to use this floor tool for this or if it's better to go for like uh, the slab tool. So we go for a different color up here also. You see that we need to add one more of this column. Hello rugged survivalist. Let's see if we can maybe sell some st some more stuff off. Wow, look at that amount of fox pelts. We need to sell pelts, and we have way too many. Okay, this sounds pretty good. And uh, I think, yeah, we can add this directly here. I think that's pretty nice. So they get up here. So let's see how we can do this. We want to be able to get out there, of course. And I kind of want to divide where we get up from the stairs. Maybe it's just one pretty big sized room. So maybe they will have a wall that goes something like this. So this is a pathway here and uh, then I can exit of course. And I think a double door for this. And we have to go for single if we want this centered. So we can go for single like that. And we're gonna have door here as well. I think I put it for that side. And here we have some like... Uh, some beds. We're gonna go for comfy ones. Two beds there. It's gonna be nice. Maybe some wooden dressers at this side. I think we could put like a writing desk right next to them. Or maybe like put one here. We need a chair for that of course, so let's go for one of these. Uh, I think we go for normal actually. That. I think that's pretty good. And maybe we can have some like rugs here as well. Okay, so let's go for these uh, rugs that we had like downstairs. I think I'm gonna turn them maybe like that. That's gonna be nice and very decorative. We should get some like market stalls as well. They would look really nice to have there. Oh, definitely a tapster of shepherd and a sheep. That we need. So maybe we should have it in like the bedroom. Should it have it like up here? Kind of would like to have it in the bedroom. Maybe like right in front of the writing desk. This is also, I think it's from the settlement mod if I'm not wrong with that. A little bit of decoration. It's pretty nice. And uh, maybe. No, we don't need to do that. That's pretty good. So we need to make a fence for this. And we're gonna keep like the theme with this color that we got here. I'm just thinking that maybe. 
I want to have like this so they like stick out like this. I want these uh, like to look more special. So maybe it goes something like that. Wow, they even have a color a color names. I didn't know that they had color names to be honest. Uh, I want to see if we, maybe if we added something so it sticks out one more like this, and uh, then we use this color and see if we can get it well together. So for this, it worked out pretty good. And here also, so happy that it worked out, so nice. Uh, I think we go for like this color on top of them. Something like that, that looks pretty awesome. That looks pretty cool. We need some windows for this also. So we need to get some lights in the rooms. We got some tall windows. I want to have uh, quite a bit of lights. If we got two, we need one, at least one for the back. We refit that one a bit, and we got one here. And for this side, I think we should have quite a bit. This is the hallway. I think a hall should have loads of light. Should we even have them like together like that? Because something like that. And we need some uh, some windows downstairs also. That should be good. So we got some light and there also. I think maybe there we skip it. I think this is pretty nice. Let's see if we should have any more like decorations. I guess we can have some flower boxes here. I think that would be nice for a farm. Something like that. Should maybe even have like something here on the stairs. Maybe just one of them. I just think it looks pretty interesting. Maybe go like that. Hope it's not too much. Maybe it will look better. If we have that much, if we go all the way like that. I just want to like decorate this a lot. I think a farmhouse should really like symbolize that it's, it is the farmhouse. It's not just some, you know, modern house. It has like, they really love nature and all that stuff. I think that's important to show it is. I think we're going to change this to pretty much have like kind of the same. Okay, that was too bright. Actually too dark. I think it's this one. The clinker color. So go for that, just to go make it look nicer to the door. I think also like yeah, we could have some benches. I think that would be cool to have here. Like sitting out here relaxing and stuff. And I have like one for each side I guess. That's pretty cool. So I think we can do the roof. So this, let's see how we're gonna do the roof for this. I wanna try, let's see if we go in two all the time with this. I think like maybe like for one of the sides we... I think those called dormers if I'm not incorrect with it. Okay, we got invaders, we gotta have to deal with them. Uh, they seem pretty far away. Oh, they, what? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? Do we have people out here? No. Who are who are the enemies seeing? Yeah, we have people out there. Because I have my mining orders out there, so they thought it would be a good idea to run right into the enemies. Let's hope that we're getting away. We should be getting away from that. Let's check the daily update also, because the food is not good enough yet. Wait, what the? What's going on? It's like people die so quick. It's like, did the enemies get way harder even though I haven't increased the difficulty? Like Anton, he went down in one second and he was a footman. Let's gather my people here because I'm not, I'm not really sure what my people are doing for the moment. We 
We need to take out the healers. But you see, the stupid archers, they're just hugging the enemies. They really need to improve the AI, it's so broken, like, is this person also gonna die because of broken AI? Ugh. Ugh, this is so annoying, this is so annoying. I think Ada might die, it's like, you know, it has been going good every single episode except for this and the previous one, so something must have happened. So Adam, he needs an escape. I think this archer is actually shooting him, so I think Adam might be screwed. Come on! Okay, let's oversee the situation here. So one is uh, smashing uh, Seraph in the ass here, and... Uh, <laughs> Crystal, you need to go and cover that. I'm supposed to have so many troops, so we can defeat Ogo so easily, but we can't uh, defeat these guys. It's like, what's going on? Um, it's like we need to take our archers and we need to like destroy someone quick like like get this dude so we can kill at least one of them and Adam is still so low and no one is healing him this is a very bad situation. So what I think now is that we need to gather like we need to get more like close combat one. Like we lost Adam in like one second. I'm really shocked, like it has been easy now and now it's like nope, we're gonna change entirely. Everything is just gonna suddenly change. So yeah, the combat is pretty annoying and I really hate that these archers they like, you know, they tend to run away so much. Uh, do they have any healers alive? They have one healer. So maybe we focus on getting down this healer first. Bring everybody together again. And of course, their archers start to shoot my archer. So let's move my archers over here. Seraph is severe low health. Yeah, that archer is like shooting every time. But it really feels like my cleric is not healing. Like, they seem so weak with the healing. It pretty much don't seem like they're even healing anything. Look at that. No, they're not healing anything. There's, there is... I think there's a bug with the clerics for the moment. As you can see, they're not healing anything. Like, you saw that they threw a heal before, but no one got healed with it. Oh, this game... It's such an awesome game, but you know, stuff like this is just so annoying. Like, who are they healing now? Let's see if this one gets any health. Look at them, they're healing the archer, but he's getting no health. So, I think the, I think the clerics are bugged in this patch. They must be, or I don't know what's going on. I don't even know what target to take out for the moment. Like, heal... <sighs> Did someone die again? Yeah, no. You see everybody's low health, so this pretty much confirms that uh, the clerics are broken. So I gotta write in the forums, and I really hope that they solve this quick. It could just be my save that are broken as well, who knows. But you can clearly see that they're not healing anything. And now they focus on the wrong target, now they focus on the healers, that's not even in combat, like close combat. Yeah guys, I don't know what to say, but uh, this is so annoying. Look at that! It's like the healing has become super weak, it's like the healing nothing. 57 health. 89. Wow, seriously, something is wrong with the healing. Something is seriously wrong with the healing. They have been healing really good before and now they just turn it to crap. Wow. This makes me pretty annoyed to be honest because it always sucks in a game when something is like messed up and I'm pretty sure that uh, something has happened because we didn't have this problem before. Like I can understand we get harder enemies but you know seeing clerics not healing anything that's a, like a whole different thing. Let's check Sif here what he's getting healed. He has 135 health. Let's see if we can like stop him. He has me moving back a bit. 135? 
155 when both of them are healing. Look at that, though healing is so weak, something is wrong with healing. I think maybe the AoE healing is also broken. But yeah, this was strange. I'm sorry for getting annoyed, but uh, things like this, it really it really gets you like salty because it's, uh, it's just so bugged out. Because let's see if we can get this to work with this. Let's finish this house and I'm gonna write on the forums and see what they have to say because this is this is not the way that it's supposed to be. I think I'm gonna make this uh, dormer a little bit like a little bit smaller. I think I might even make uh, two of them. So do something like that, and I think we... Should we do it for both sides or just one side? Let's try to use it just for one side this time. Oh, the roof for this. I kind of want to have... Hmm. What color do I want to have for this? Should we try... Should we try this color? I haven't had this, like, for any roof. Oh, that's not going to look good. Not for this house, for many other houses can look good, but not for this one. I think I want to go for like an... Uh, pretty much like an uh, wood colored one, so we'll go for this darkish one. So we're just gonna make uh, what we're gonna have here in the back as well, so we make sure that it looks the same. So that's good. I think maybe we do it like one pointy on the top. That might make it look uh, like the end touch for it. So there we go, that should be pretty good. I think that's a pretty nice roof. Maybe we want to have it like higher, but I think this is gonna work out pretty good. So this is going to be the last parts that we're adding for it. I wonder if it should go down like that. I think it will be strange if we stop down here. But for this side it should be going down again. It must have happened something like with the clerics, as we saw, they didn't heal. They didn't heal anything, and we haven't been losing troops before. And suddenly we start to lose troops, and start to notice that something is messed up with our clerics. So it must be something. I feel like I maybe want to have another window here, like in between this, but that might be where the wall is. Yeah, it doesn't do match there, so we're gonna skip it. But I think that's a pretty nice farmhouse. I hope you guys like it. We I think we should add um, some light sources for it also, like up here. Like maybe one on each side and uh, I think one have like two up here also. That should be pretty nice. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, even though I got very salty during combat, but something must have happened. Like you see in this episode, the previous episode, something has been happening, like people are dying. It's pretty much the same end as as it was before. It's pretty much just that they are not healing, so we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna write in the forums, and I'm gonna see if more people like experience this thing because something is, something is going on. But guys, thanks for checking out this episode of Stone Hearth with me, Banto. I hope you guys had a good, good time, and I hope to see you guys soon again. So, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time, and take care.